so. Ah! Get out! Whoa! Whoa! I got a horror game. I was uh, I was online, you know, looking for some horror games. Came across this one called The Crypt. Not too sure what it's about. Uh, I think it's set in space or something like that. Uh, but I wanted to, you know, do some more horror videos for this channel. So uh, let's go ahead and get this started. The IS Javan, a Class C freight vessel on a routine cargo run, fails to arrive at its destination. Syllabus three. 2004-32 After repeated failed attempts to contact it, the GIS Trade Federation reports it missing. This was like something from Destiny 2. Destiny 1. 62 hours of Travon is found drifting. Oh, I didn't get to read that. It's found, I'm assuming. Its primary power systems are offline. Its comm channel is silent. Its thrusters are dead. Got some dead space going on. There is no perceived activi activity on board. Its crew members remain unreachable. I really like this one. Okay. Right in the ship. Look at that. A Generation 1 BT manufactured freight vessel. Never thought I'd see one of those still operational. That ship's practically a relic. I'm surprised the FCA renewed its registration. So, you got the brief right? The ship didn't turn up at the Zebulus 3 spaceport. A couple of days later, a merchant freight transporting minerals to the Expo Belt spots it on Ladar. It appears to have lost power and coasted a couple hundred thousand clicks off its original course. Mm. No comms? No See all this space like future stuff ship. doesn't click with my brain at all. <laughs> okay. Can't say I blame them. The GIS it's finds like for delayed just throw shipments in there. due to avoidable technical faults are brutal. It would have wiped out the crew's pay for months. Abandoning the ship and claiming that their lives were at risk due to a technical failure gets them off the hook because the insurance companies take the hit. And with a ship that old, it'd be hard to prove otherwise. The system's messed up. What can I say? Now we're left to clean up the mess and file the paperwork. The Traven's crew is still at large, but our patrols will find them. They're probably at a Katina somewhere in this sector. We'll try to get the truth out of them, but I don't have much hope. You know the drill. Once you're on the ship, head to the bridge and extract all the primary logs you can get. Any evidence we can find to tell us what actually happened will help us close this quicker. I'll call you as soon as you're inside. Okay, Prithi. Prithi Nair. my question already in. Oh, okay. So, the bad news first. The schematics we have on file for this ship's model are so old, they're obsolete. BT stopped making these in 09, and it's been modded beyond recognition over the years. So, you'll have no nav map assistance on your HUD on this mission. Sorry about that. The good news, however, is that this ship's layout should be pretty rudimentary. This maintenance hall should lead you out to the ship's primary quarters and then to the bridge. Take the large bay door up ahead and keep moving towards the front of the ship. Okay, okay. Since the primary power is down, a lot of the subsystems won't be operational, but most doorways should still work. I'll check back with you in a bit. I'm gonna see what I can dig up on the crew. Might give us a clue to what actually happened here. Gotcha. Alright. Let's go get these primary logs. LS control. Some weird vault door. Storage. What fuck no? Door security offline. What is this? An open? No. Terminal. You need a crypto keychain to mine this terminal. Mine? Oh, like that of mine, I guess. Okay, okay. Locker keypad. Remember that. Probably need a code, right? No. 
Let's check it out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna definitely need a code for that. Don't know where to get that from though. Probably this big door. I'm gonna check out the small door first. LSS control. How do we access you? Door access panel is secured by bio code encrypted key card access. Proceed with decryption and override. Uh sh yes. Uh oh. Error security override. Crypto key required. Quitting override. So oh. This is for Rachel, you big fat white man. The security systems on this relic are so archaic, your override tool's master key bank doesn't have its decryption sequence. I don't think our algorithms go back that far, but that's not a problem. You'll just have to find a terminal on the ship's network that's still online, and then you can mine crypto keys to complete the missing chains. You should also be able to pull out encrypted messages from the comm system, which will be helpful. Hold on, I'm adding a crypto keychain module to your tool belt now. Okay. You gonna give us a key, or just giving us a belt for it? Let's try it again. <laughs> Yes, sir. Come on. Okay. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a key. No wonder it says zero. Okay, let's check out this big door. See if we can do anything with this. I assume it's probably the crypto key thing again. Yep. Let's not waste time right there. Okay, so we need to figure out what this. Does it kind of run? Oh, that's not really running. Okay. So we need to figure out what that code is. The terminal's online and connected to the local data network. Proceed with crypto key mining. Yes. Injecting moneyware. Oh, okay. Got a key. Nice, nice. Crypto message obtained. They're in the ship. That's what Manu said. Yesterday at the mess hall, I noticed he wasn't eating, just started fixed, fixedly at his food. His face was pallid. He told me he wasn't sleeping well. The noises, don't you hear them, he said. The noises, I said. The duds, the groans, he said. They're coming from the very heart of this vessel. I told him that I heard them, too, and that we all did, and that they were just the sounds of the bones of the old ship settling. The tectonic shifts of metal plates long past their prime. Is there like a code in this? But he seemed to barely register what I said when he looked up at me. His eyes had a fixed quality that... I didn't much care for it. He said they're on the ship just at one cryptic sentence. I want you to see him, Doc. I'm worried about him. He hasn't been assessed since we started this run. Is there a code in here? 1234. 2432. Could be the year. Are you sure about that? Okay. Uh, let's get that 2432 a try. Let's try 24. Oh, 24. 32. <laughs> nope. Okay. Let's proceed. Because I assume we won't get the key code for that until maybe we go to the control room. I assume. It's very ominous in this place. Nice. Okay, here we go. Getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. Oh, hell no. It is dark as hell. I'm gonna keep walking. Go towards the light. Alright, staying in the dark corners. Okay. Oh, snap. What is that? Got some weird monsters on here. Offline. Offline. I don't want to be on. Oh, here we go. Yes, keep on mine. Standing by. Nice. That message. Terminal 4 is still crapped out. I swear this junkyard ship is falling apart. The power flu 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 flu
Patients and network failures are growing worse. We flip back and forth to pack up power back up power a dozen times already since we left Nagari. At this rate we won't make it halfway to Nebulus Zebulus. Sorry. So the temporary power rig you set up for Terminal 4 is still missing a power cell. You told me you put one in yesterday. I guess you forgot. Guess I'll blame you. What with all that shit going down. Could you place the cells, please? There's a spare in the locker and storage. The locker's code 4121. Okay. So we're going to put a cell. To replace the power cell. 4121. 4121. Yeah, 4121. Okay. Let's run to the door because I don't like this creepy room. Is the door closed on me? Power cell, where you at? There you are. Uh, where did he say we went to that? I'm gonna say. Oh, fuck. I forgot what game this is. <laughs> it's not a nice game. Alright, let's get through this door. Nope! Uh, oh, two? Okay. Guess the power cell goes back in the control room. Let's go in there. Did you jump with the power cell at? Terminal f what? Oh, here we go. Now what? Do we need to put more? Everything's still offline though. Oh, here we go. Another terminal. Okay. Let's mine it. Yes. Sir. Nice. Now assume we get another log. Yep. Encrypted message. Menu's condition concerns me. He Valisates between nervous energy and a kind of sullen si silence. His pronouncements are growing increasingly dire and non-sensual, and he exhibits a high degree of paranoia. He says they are down in the cargo hold. He seems to be withdrawing into himself. Doc, saw him earlier today. He said he'll give me an update soon. It's odd how Manu is so troubled by those noises. They are, to be honest, dis disconcerting. George said that Sounds have a way of resonating in an old ship like this. He says they're likely originated from the cargo hold below, where the ship's core structural spine is and traveling through the air ducts. Need any luck on those records? I want anything you can get on the history of this ship, who owned it before Navo, who was the last crew, how long since its FCA approval, and so on. We know this ship is a pre-guard war, which makes it about half a ES century old. The bizarre power fluctuations in the randomly falling subsystem's body ill. Boat ill. The ship was perfectly all right when we left Nagari. If they're dumped a crippled, crippled, crippled vessel on us to balance their books, I'm going to have head rolls at the GIS. I won't risk life with my crew for the sake of their stupid corporate fuckery. That's harsh language. Okay, oh shit, where's the door at? Where's the door? I can't, I can't see a damn thing. Oh, okay. So fuck. Hey, turn the lights on. Low light detected, suit flashlight charge for safety available. That doesn't help. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I got this. Just gotta get this door open. Come on, come on, come on. Open the door. Get me out this room. Nice. What was that? Oh hell no! <laughs> you can stay over. Say you can stay over there, bud. I'm not coming near you. Stay over there. Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't have no keys. 
in their terminal for that. Go. Cut it out. Okay, another locker. Terminal. Nice. Get a key. Better not come up behind me. I will freak. I'll freak out on you. You don't want me to freak out. He could be breathing on, breathing on my neck. Okay, another message. I've tried everything, boss, but I'm not able to figure out the power issue. All systems are testing fine on our maintenance tools. It's fucking infuriating. And now we have the leaks. I have no clue what the foul-smelling green stuff coming out of the vents is. Rico says it looks looks and smells like the acid fertilizers they use on the fields in Homeworld, but that's ridiculous. We ain't carrying any such thing in our cargo. And even if, if we were, if there was a leak from one of the containers, the stuff wouldn't flow into our airflow system. Also, I don't know how to say this, boss, but the crew are a bit jittery. This is just a small vessel, and there's just ten of us. And it's not like they're... This is our first run. Some of these guys have been on trips past the seven the Sven systems, but this ship has some bad mojo. The way Mono's going off in his head going off his head, and now Rico says he saw something yesterday in the corridor, he looks shocked. And you know Rico, he's as steady as a stone and always thinks he's right. So I went and checked and I didn't see anything. Not then, but the day before, while I was surveying the vents, I swear I saw something moving up there in the dark. Yeah, I think I saw something too, but Look, I don't know, boss. I hate to sound like a green foot, but I ain't at ease either. Something about this ship ain't right, and my sleep ain't working. I keep waking up, and I can't remember what woke me. So these boys are going through the works. And they can keep it, because I don't want to go through it. Okay, another key. We don't have nothing on that. Okay, big door. I'm assuming this has these two crypto keys, like the last one. Isn't this where the thing went? Okay, we're just gonna go into this data room. In slash data. Yes. Open up. Nope! Oh, okay, we need two. I thought maybe we just need one in for the small doors. Okay, let's try another door. Let's run. Walking is a little too slow for me. I feel like I'm gonna get clapped up. Hey, yo, look who fell asleep first. Prank him, John. <laughs> you already know. Yo! Yo! Yeah! Let's try this door. Okay, two crypto keys again. What door doesn't need two crypto keys, though? We got a key. It came from that way. Okay, I think there was a door over here. Yeah, yeah, medical, okay. Nice, okay. Into medical. Did it open? Oh. Oh, shit! Where'd he go? Oh. Okay. This is a terminal. Yeah. I am not ready for this. Next. Aaron and I had. I had Manu come in today. He tried to avoid the appointment, which I was expecting, so I had Nia escort him there. It's hard to say no to Nia, haha. You're right. It's shocking how slicky, sickly he looks. He didn't talk at first, and when he finally did, he asked, no, no, begged me for some Tarkozane, Tarkozane 500, better known as Blank Slate among the Rick drug kids and as deep out by the guys in the military, but I digress. When I told him we can't issue out a sedative that's strong without good reason, he said, Sure as hell, I had a good reason. I have seven days, he said. Why not, I had said, having bad dreams. The reason I asked him that was because I had two others coming with the same complaint. He said, yes, I think so. I asked him what the dreams were about, and he said he couldn't remember, but I sensed he was being evasive. When I probed, he said, they're in here with us. I said, who, I asked. 
At first, he did not reply. He stared into a corner of the room, and at the bed, finally, he turned to me, and his eyes locked with me, and he said, We should never have set foot on the ship. We shouldn't be here. I don't think I should be here either. I must admit that a chill went down my spine. Something about this whole business is troubling. I checked his vitals, and they were fine. His blood pressure is a little higher than normal, but I would have surprised if it weren't. He's lost some weight and he's exhausted, but at least physically he is fine. His condition appears to be a result of sustained levels of high anxiety bordering on paranoia. I prescribed him half a dose of terocrozine. He popped the pill right here before I could stop him, so I sent him to his room. He was directed that he left his access key to the network data. He left his key room here. I asked Nia to move it into the locker room in stock so someone could pick it up in case we weren't here. Nia reset the code. It's now oh, 1109. Okay, okay. That's that locker over there. 1109. I remember that. Oh, wait. Is it this locker? I didn't even see this one. 1109. Nope. Oh, okay. It has to be that one in the hallway. What is this one, though? Little cup. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh. Don't play. Okay, we got this. Let's run a little bit. Okay, here it is. Please be the right one. One, one, zero, nine. Okay, got it. I think he said he left his key in here? Nice. Is that all we needed, or do we need another one? Okay, I think that's all we need. Okay, nice. And the terminal, perfect. Another key for the big doors. Okay. Let's get this key. See this message. Cap, the security systems are failing one by one. We've got doors suddenly coupled completely inoperable and the return to normal seen minutes later for no apparent reason. The system diagnostics, diagnostics reveal nothing. I'm switching all doors from bio rec to manual access keys. The others aren't going to like it, but till we figure out what's causing this, I feel better if we kept the protocols basic. I suspect the green fluid that's coming out of the vents is seeping into the ship's electronics, although if that were so, everything would be shorting out by now. George is doing his best to keep the ducts clean, but the stuff just keeps coming back and it's driving him crazy. I don't mean to cry doom, but the way things are going, it's possible that all primary systems may fail before we reach Zebulus. If you ask me, this ship should have never left Nagari, but I say the GIS reports with my own eyes before we left. They cleared the ship to take off and their diagnostics were legit all systems were ago. 20 years in the system, OPS, I've never seen anything like it, like this. It just doesn't make sense. Something is seriously wrong with this vessel, and I don't mean the electronics. You, you see the look in everyone's eyes? No one's sleeping right, and nobody will talk about it. George saw something in the air ducts, but he wouldn't say what. All I know is that he looked more perturbed than usual. I've seen something too, Cap. I don't even, I can't even explain something unspeakable in the shadows. Oh, shit. Okay. Anything else in this room? Please don't scare the shit out of me. <laughs> the tech room, we need to get in there. I think this is the one with the two keys. I think there was two doors. No, no, it was, it was the data room, but we need that one key that I didn't know about. But we got two keys for this. Should work. Nice, there we go. And we're in. Okay, okay. Close. Whoa! Hi, welcome to Chili's. the fuck well, now I see what to do with sound of air vent this is gonna freak me out okay I got one key what's the message most of the terminals have gone offline again cap and 
One or two have shut down completely. Everyone's stopping on me, but what can I do? I still think something is getting at the ring, the wiring. I tried to get George to take a look, but he's too busy trying to keep the LS going, and he's so stressed he yells at me if I talk to him. We got only three terminals operational online, and now Terminal 7 has powered down too. I've managed to set up an auxiliary power rig, but we're short of a cell. I had loaned one to the med room last week. Could you get George to take it, collect it, and hook it up when he has time? He won't pay me any heed. He could take it from the med locker directly. Don't don't mind the quotas. One, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I know, Doc, but but Doc asked me to keep it simple. <laughs> What's a basic password? The monster gonna get in. Oh, another terminal. Okay, let's get in this one. Getting two keys, probably for the big door. <sighs> Gotta stay strong. Gotta stay strong. They are scaring the shit out of me. I am seriously concerned about the way things are going. The ship's practically falling apart around us. I can't risk this anymore. I've told Nita to put on an SOS signal and flag down the first passing ship. I know this will result in all kinds of trouble with the GIS. Those ruthless bastards, they'll try to pin a failed run on us, accused of pulling an insurance scam and then hammering us with fines. But that's okay. I'm not going to risk the lives of my people. And there's... The other stuff. Manu hasn't left his room in two days, and the others are rattling on edge. I don't care what this is, collective hysteria, lock-in syndrome. What matters is that the incidents, I don't know what else to call it, are growing more frightening. There can be no more denying it. Something isn't in here with us, and it means, to, it, it means us great harm. <sighs> if I gotta run from this fucking thing, I'm gonna cry. It was just a door. I'm just gonna, okay, well, the med bay was down here, right? Please say it was down here. That's it. yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. Can't forget that. If I forget that, dumbest human alive. One, two, three, four. Okay. It was a. Why am I? Why am I facing away? Let's get this power cell. Where, where did they want this at? Uh, this wasn't the right one previous. Okay, we got two. I think we need to go to that big door and put the power cell. Ah! Get out! My friend here, Justin, he's already taken and he's cracked at Fortnite, my guy. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Fuck you. What? I'm, I'm putting this power cell in here. You ain't gonna stop me. Good ass fucker. Okay, the big door is right here, right? No, nope, wrong door. Over here. Boss, I think the engines are getting affected now. Did you feel the hitch an hour ago? It's fucking crazy. And did Nia tell you about the comms? I'll let her give you the bad news herself. I don't think we're gonna get that SOS out. Also, you need to talk to Rico, boss. He is getting on my nerves. He keeps asking me to check every damn duck on the ship and I already got my hands full. Also, why did you let him alter the security protocol on every damn door? He's turned off BioRec, switched to physical access key cards like we're back in the 22nd century. He says he wants no one anywhere without a physical card in their person. This is causing havoc. I already misplaced the access key to my room somewhere. I think I left it at the showers. Now I need to waste more time finding the thing. Also, have you seen Manu anywhere? He's not in his room, and Doc said he shouldn't be wandering around it because he's on pretty strong meds. If you see him, tell him Doc's looking for him urgently. Thanks. Where's the boss at? 
And they're all talking to the boss. I haven't seen a message from the boss. Okay, I got three keys, power so wait. Okay, yeah. Three keys. This door should open. Wrong door again. This, yeah, this door should now open for us, please. Nice. Open up. Open up. Please open up. Please open up. Okay, this is dark. Okay, we're saved. Oh, Bertali. Hey, I have been trying to reach you. Something is interrupting comms <sighs> out of that Finally ship. someone friendly. If you're seeing this, listen. We tried to locate the crew. We put out a bulletin at every system in this sector, but we came up empty. We traced the course of the tavern, and not a single vessel rendezvoused with it since it left Nagari. It looks like the crew never left the ship. Hmm. I've requested Debt 2 to take over this investigation. This isn't a data ops mission anymore. Abort and head to the nearest airlock. There should be one by the bridge or down in the cargo bay. Listen, there's something else. I've looked up records on this ship, and here's where things get really strange. It appears this uh, isn't the first time there's been an incident. Missing it. Oh my. Okay. Uh. Wing A. Wing B. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh. Appreciate sure the game saves, so I'll pick this up in another episode. This game is scaring the shit on me. I don't know how much more I can take, so I'm just gonna call it quits for a minute. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and uh, I will see you in the next one.